Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Listen, all these people talking about Terrence Crawford is scared of boots. He's ducking boots. What are y'all talking about? Now, he does not want to fight him. So I can understand in a sense you're saying he's putting duck sauce on the fried rice. But when you start saying he's scared of boots, he's afraid he's going to lose. Okay. You feel Boots has earned the Terrence Crawford fight, right? People feel that way, okay? Who's Boots beat? Okay, crickets, right? Now, I'm telling you, I think Boots just needs an opportunity, and he's out of here. He passes the, 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 the eye test, the sniff test, the goddamn litmus test. He pass, he, get, he passed the test and gets the extra credit. That's how great Jerron Boots in us looks. And that's just how great I think he's going to be. However, with the comma, same way people say Terrence Crawford's got to earn Canelo. Go fight at 154. Beat Tim Zhu. Beat this person. Go to 160. Fight Adamus. Beat this person. Then he can get the Canelo fight. Okay. Y'all want to turn this shit into a circus show? Crawford can't get Canelo. He's got to do a, fight a few more bigger names, right? To get to 168, right? Can't just leapfrog everybody get in front of Benavides. Okay. I'm not saying I disagree with you. I'm not saying I agree with you. But what I am saying is, apply that shit to Boots. And I don't think Boots needs to fight two, three, four people to get to get Terrence Crawford. He needs to fight Mean Machine. Beat Mean Machine. And now we're talking about something. That's the feather in the cap Boots needs. Keith Thurman, you know, all that. He, you know, Boots about to fight Cody Crowley. I get it. You know, that that's looks like think that's what's coming. But forget all that. Cody Crowley. Mean Machine would tear Cody Crowley's asshole out. Mean Machine ain't no joke. So y'all come out here and act like Mean Machine is not a threat. Yo. Mean Machine. This man's 24 wins, two losses. This man knocking out everybody. He lost to Virgil Ortiz. Virgil, uh, Virgil Ortiz. That shit was rock'em, sock'em robots. He was hurting Ortiz left and right. Ortiz was catching his ass. But this is Ortiz before the uh, the Rabdo. Uh, Ortiz, you know, he, he's another one of those. He looked for the mashup crash-up, and he just refused to lose. That's that's talking about fighting with heart and with your balls, man. That fight was crazy. And he ended up uh, uh, getting the win against Mean Machine. But Mean Machine went down swinging, boy, and Virgil Ortiz was Thanking God he escaped that fight with the win because it wasn't easy. Uh, Terrence Crawford went life and death with Mean Machine. But once Terrence Crawford, I guess he decided, all right, uh, enough playing around trying to stay in and get cute with this guy and switch and do all this bullshit because Crawford got hurt. That shot Mean Machine through and landed on Crawford is just a, a you know, these guys are professional boxers, man. The, the way he was able to get that shot off, like there was actually no room for him to throw that shot. Short. Compact, concise, and accurate. Kaboom! Crawford started dancing south in the ring like he was from the goddamn, like he was from, you know, Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Over Omaha, Nebraska. Nebraska dancing south in the ring. But then he went and put them bing beans on him, didn't he? That being said, a guy like Mean Machine, if Boots can get in there and do the Mean Machine where he did the Roman Villa, oh, well, now we got something to talk about. But I do get it. Mean Machine already fought Ortiz. He fought Crawford. He got bing beamed. He's not the same Mean Machine before Terrence Crawford, right? No one knew who Mean Machine was, really, till he fought Crawford. They're thinking he's just some cherry pick. Not knowing this guy's record, his, uh, his amateur pedigree, Olympian. Nobody knew none of that shit about him. Then he goes to fight Virgil Ortiz, and people are like, whoa. So Mean Machine's a real deal. Put him in with Boots in this. And then I think we can stop having this conversation about whether Boots deserves a fight or not. We know Boots is going to fight Cody Crowley. We know that. Okay? But the sad thing is, would Boots fight Mean Machine? I'm going to tell you how... Rea how the re I'm going to show you if that's even a reality. It's it's not really a reality, right? Which, which is what sucks. But that's the fight. I think that's what he needs. You want to get a... Uh, you want to get a pass by fans? He got Cody Crowley, Santion, Earl Spence, Chikadzian. You know, unfortunately, you know, Mean Machine's not even ranked under the IBF. 
which I just think is stupid. But um, Kvalioskis is ranked for the WBC. The way the WBC is looking, Kvalioskis, you know, if he can get a couple more good wins against those big names, Kvalioskis will be right in the mix um, to pick up a title for the WBC. But the bottom line is, although Kvalioskis, you know, Mean Machine is not ranked under the IBF, doesn't matter to me. I think out of all the fighters, right, when we take a look at all the fighters, you know, and I'm going to say these are the big names out there right now. Spence and Crawford, let's just, let's just forget about Spence and Crawford, right? You got, you got Stanley Unis. No one knows what's going on with him. But out of all these fighters here, I, in my opinion, Crowley, Santiago, Vanessian, I think Cavalioskis and Sant, Santiago looked so amazing in his last fight. I don't think he can outdo that performance, but I think Cavalioskis, Santiago, man, those are the two. That if they, you know, those are the ones I think pose the biggest threat to everybody, just the way that they fight. But for Boots Innes, if, if Boots can get through Cavalioskis or even a Santiago, but more of a Cavalioskis because Cavalioskis, he already fought, you know, Virgil Ortiz and he fought Crawford. But if he can get in there and make that a one side side of beating, they're going to give him credit for it, not the full credit, but depends on how, how the fight goes. And, and then, then he's got something. But right now, this Cody Crowley win, that does, that's good for Boots. It's not his fault that Crowley's ranked. The number one and two positions in the IBF are vacant, and the number three is Cody Crowley, so he's got to fight his mandatory. That's not Boots' fault. But he's not going to get credit because Cody Crowley's there to be hit. Crowley fights like Earl Spence, but with, not, with no power. Uh, and I just think Boots Henderson is going to have a field day with him. Those long arms, a jab, he's powerful, both hands are heavy. I think I give that shit two rounds. Two rounds. And Boots Sinners will would have tranquilized Cody Crowley. Cody Crowley be packed up. Uh, on an airplane, I don't know when I'll be back again. His ass back to Canada. And I'm not trying to say that in a disrespectful way. I just think that's the worst, worst, worst fight for Cody Crowley is him having to go up and mess with Boots Sinners. That being said, y'all keep cool. Put on put on Mean Machine in there with, with Boots Sinners. See how that works out. But unfortunately, me machine ain't even ranked in the IVF, but you just don't know how boxing works out. Who knows? Maybe we get that match, but that's what I want to see. Mean Machine, he fought Ortiz, he fought Crawford. Let's see how Boots does against him. Now we can kind of kind of kind of measure, compare opponents, performances. Then maybe Boots may have some. That being said, y'all keep cool them in the breeze.